Chapter 33, The Joint Forces. In the name of God, the Lord of mercy, the giver of mercy. Prophet, be mindful of God and do not give in to the disbelievers and the hypocrites. God has the power to decide. Follow what your Lord reveals to you. God is well aware of your actions. Put your trust in God. God is enough to trust. God does not put two hearts within a man's breast. He does not turn the wise you reject and liken to your mothers back into your real mothers. Nor does he make your adopted sons into real sons. These are only words from your mouths, while God speaks the truth and guides people to the right path. Name your adopted sons after their real fathers. This is more equitable in God's eyes. If you do not know who their fathers are, they are your brothers in religion and protégés. You will not be blamed if you make a mistake only for what your hearts deliberately intend. God is most forgiving and merciful. The prophet is closer to the believers than they are themselves. While his wives are their mothers, in God's scripture, blood relatives have a stronger claim than other believers and immigrants. Though you may still bestow gifts on your protégés, all this is written in scripture. We took a solemn pledge from the prophets, from you, Muhammad, from Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, the son of Mary. We took a solemn pledge from all of them. God will question even the truthful about their sincerity. And for those who reject the truth, he has prepared a painful torment. You who believe, remember God's goodness to you when mighty armies massed against you. We sent a violent wind and invisible forces against them. God sees all that you do. They massed against you from above and below. Your eyes rolled with fear. Your hearts rose into your throats. And you thought ill thoughts of God. There the believers were sorely tested, deeply shaken. The hypocrites and the sick at heart said, God and his messengers promised us nothing but delusions. Some of them said, People of Gathrib, you will not be able to withstand the attack. Go back. Some of them asked the prophet's permission to leave, saying, Our houses are exposed, even though they are not. They just wanted to run away. Had the city been invaded from all sides and the enemy invited them to rebel, they would have done so almost without hesitation. Yet they had already promised God that they would not turn tail and flee. And a promise to God will be answered for. Prophet, say, Running away will not benefit you. If you manage to escape from death's slaughter, you'll only be permitted to enjoy life for a short while. <clears throat> so, say, if God wishes to harm you, who can protect you? If God wishes to show you mercy, who can prevent him? They will find no one but God to protect them and help them. <clears throat> God knows exactly who among you hinder others. Who secretly say to their brothers, come and join us. Who hardly ever come out to fight, who begrudge you, believers, any help. When fear comes, you, prophet, see them looking at you with eyes rolling like someone in their death throes. When fear has passed, they attack you with sharp tongues and begrudge you any good. Such men do not believe, and God brings their deeds to nothing. That is all too easy for God. They think the joint forces have not gone. And if the joint forces did come again, they wish they would. They wish they were in the desert, wandering among the Bedouin. B-E-D-O-U-I-N. They, they think that the joint forces have not gone. And if the joint forces did come again, they would wish they were in the desert wandering among the Beodon. 
and seeking news about you from a safe distance, <laughs> even if they were with you, believers, they would hardly fight at all. The messenger of God is an excellent model for those of you who put your hope in God and the last day and remember him. When the believers saw the joint forces, they said, this is what God and his messengers promised us. The promise of God and his messenger is true. And this only served to increase their faith and submission to God. There are men among the believers who honored their pledge to God. Some of them have fulfilled it by death, and some are still waiting. They have not changed in the least. Such trials are ordained so that God may reward the truthful for their honesty and punish the hypocrites. If he so wills, or he may relent towards them, for God is forgiving and merciful. God sent back the disbelievers along with their rage, they gained no benefit. They spared the believers from fighting. He is strong and mighty. He brought those people of the book who supported them down from the strongholds and put panic into their hearts. Some of them, you believers killed, and some you took captive. He passed on to you their land, their houses, their possessions, a land where you had not set foot. God has power over everything. Prophets, say to your wives, if your desire is for the present life and its finery, then come. I will make provision for you and release you with kindness. But if you desire God, his messenger, and the final home, then remember that God has prepared great rewards for those of you who do good. Wives of the prophet, if any of you does something clearly outrageous, she will doubly, she will be doubly punished. That's easy for God. But if any of you is obedient to God and is messenger and does good deeds, know that we shall give her a double reward and have prepared generous provisions for her. Wives of the prophet, you are not like any other women. If you are truly mindful of God, do not speak too softly in case the sick at heart should lust after you, but speak in an appropriate manner. Stay at home. Don't flaunt your finery as they used to in the pagan past. Keep up the prayer. Give the prescribed alms. Obey God and his messenger, God wishes to keep uncleanness away from you, people of the prophet's house, and to purify you thoroughly. Remember what is recited in your houses of God, revelations and wisdom, for God is all subtle and aware. For men and women who are devoted to God, believing men and women, obedient men and women, truthful men and women, steadfast men and women, humble men and women, charitable men and women, fasting men and women, chaste men and women, and men and women who remember God often, God has prepared forgiveness and a rich reward.